Fala, fiotes! Eu sou o Kalil e você está no Gamer Liu Games. É um prazer recebê-lo mais uma vez aqui no nosso espaço, né? Agora para falar de é, Resident... Eu ia falar de, de Dead Space. De Resident Evil 4 Remake, galera. É tanto remake, né? Que a gente fica pistolado da cabeça. Galera, dessa vez, né? A bola da vez... O que, que, tá, o que aconteceu hoje? A Game Informer acaba de publicar quase que 13 minutos de gameplay... Único, agora, que a Capcom mandou pra eles, pra eles mostrarem, né, naquele quadro deles lá, pá, que sempre rola os primeiros gameplays lá. E dessa vez eles estão mostrando partes do capítulo 5, que ainda não havia sido mostrado em momento algum. Então eu tô muito ansioso pra poder ver com vocês, né, e a gente já não tá fazendo, né, muitos reacts. Eu falei, mano, quer saber? Vou ligar a câmera, eu vou ver de qualquer jeito, né, então põe a câmera aqui, vamos ver todo mundo junto, vamos ver as reações de todos, né. É, e eu quero que, por gentileza, né, por favor, coloque seu comentário depois, tá bom? Assista até o final e fala, ó, oh, Kalil, gostei disso, não gostei daquilo, ou eu achei que isso ficou bom, aquilo não ficou bom. Vamos ver, mano. São 13 minutos de gameplay, dá pra gente é, curtir bastante, né? É, vai ter os comentários dos caras aqui no fundo também e tal, mas ignora se não for nada interessante. Vamos lá. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Game Informer. I'm your host, Alex Van Aken, and today we're gonna be taking a look at some of this exclusive gameplay footage that we have from Resident Evil 4 Remake, Chapter 5. We're gonna be seeing um, some church gameplay, some Ashley gameplay, and um, some of the cabin fight, as well as, uh, you know, um, just overall fighting Ganado and and uh, yeah, trying to stay alive. So we've got about 12 minutes of footage uh, here to show you today. Uh, and I'm joined by Marcus Stewart. How are you, Marcus? I'm feeling great. I'm happy to be seeing this section again, because as I mentioned in the cover story I wrote, I've had a lot of fun playing it. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we are, this, this footage starts out and we are, uh, you know, simply escaping from the church. Um, this is, how many hours into the game would you say this is, Marcus? Oh, yeah, it's hard to say, because uh, we don't know how long the other chapters are. It's got to be at least a, probably like three-ish hours, I would guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is not our gameplay, by the way. If people are wondering, this is a b that Capcom provided, so this is someone okay, on the I've team. Olha a água! Playing, not us. Yes. Batendo, yes. que da hora. Uh, we did play through this section, chuva, I think, né? that you see today. An important disclaimer, Capcom did help out with accommodations for travel. That means, like, flights, hotel. In association with this cover trip, we didn't have any of those conversations. Like, that's our bosses that handle all that. We kind of just show up and do our job. But it is an important disclaimer. That being said, we are not influenced by that. Baby Eagle. Copy that. Is she okay? Affirmative. Well done, Condor One. I'll dispatch a chopper ASAP. Mano, a chuva tá bonito caindo neles, né? Você vê que as conversações de Hunnikin estão em game now, which is nice. Um, yeah, and you can kind of move around while it's happening. Mano, o mapa, o mapa! Yeah, nice shot of the map there, going to the the helicopter extraction point where nothing will go wrong, I'm sure. Um, and uh, Mano, so, yeah, tá bem, in the beginning you saw tá bem escuro, uh, né? Tá bem contrastado, so, né? About, like, hey, Podia ter here. diminuído uh, um pouquinho mais, mas vamos lá. You know, spoiling, there's a little extra area in that uh, upper deck that you can find if you don't want to just beeline it straight for that ladder. Uh, so you know, keep an eye out up there. I, I found it on my playthrough. Uh, so yeah, we are making our way through here. Leon being a gentleman, moving that out the way, because he's all big and strong. Spread out. Furtividade. R2, furtividade, legal. Ataque furtivo, foi. Pô, isso é uma delícia, hein, mano? Ih, rapaz. And yeah, this part was um, Ali está. pretty fun to get through. I tried to get through it mano, que da hora, mano. a couple times. Oh! Legal a finalização ali. Ih, rapaz, pegaram a Ashley. Nossa, voou o machado. Que da hora! Eles levam a Ashley e você pode chegar perto e finalizar os caras. Legal.
Pô, o cara tá bem avançado, mano. So you're gonna notice um, there's gonna be a few jumps uh, in the clips here. Again, that's a Capcom thing, so this is this isn't going to be a straight run through of the chapter. It's gonna jump around at points. Cara, que desespero, uh, cara. Quando, né? Still né? very effective against those uh, tentacle transformed Ganado. As we uh, enter the cemetery, you get a little bit of a a little bit of a taste of one of the side quests, which is sort of a spin on the cemetery puzzle. As you can see, you can still shoot bird's nests to get those uh, precious eggs, or I guess a chicken egg that's in a bird nest in the tree. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Uh, you know how it is. But I mean, in the original game, you killed snakes and got chicken eggs, which was always kind of weird. Iyala! There he is. Alá! Eu não tinha visto ele ainda no remake. Em gameplay, né? Olha lá. One has to wonder how he uh, moves with all that heavy equipment and that code. Nossa, ficou muito legal. <laughs> you know, must be pretty strong. It's kind of like a like a Dragon Ball, like Piccolo weighted training gear. He's probably pretty strong. But, uh, I was thinking he's just like into CrossFit. You know. Uh, you know we. We, we don't know. He's a mysterious, mysterious figure. As you see, we're upgrading our equipment here. You can upgrade knives now, as mentioned in the cover story, which is nice, which you're going to be needing because they're, uh, they have limited durability. And you're going to be using it quite a bit for the new parry mechanic, which I enjoy. Mm. And you can see there's another side quest. Nossa, tá bonito, cara. Right there. You're going to want to keep an eye out in the environment for the Oh, so there's the wild doll quest. That was one of the more involved quests. That we saw so Absolutely. Far. And you won't see the solution. Um, oh, man, a fumaça no chão. Footage, but you will see. O fog no chão. Um, sort of what's on the other. A nevo, né? Olha que louco, you. mano. Yeah. Um, the dog is hard to find. We we are gonna show the dog, um, but the way to find the dog is will be, I guess, a little bit of a mystery. And also important to note. We turned left when we cara, a chuva door. caindo no cabelo, na roupa. Olha isso, cara, é muito legal. That door that goes into an underground tunnel that like takes you up through a well in the village. So there's a lot of paths. Cara, esse lance de derrubar o cara e lá e finalizar tá muito legal, mano. Ah, you hide. The camera's framed. We're like, okay, this is the it's the only way to go. But yeah, uh, one of the producers pulled us aside and was like, hey, check this out. And we were like, oh, okay. Olha, chutou. Mano, olha essa iluminação, que da hora, velho. Village at night. The lady thought she could uh, take a picture for it's Leon. Didn't work out for her. Nossa, tá muito escuro. I, I, uh, uh, I was gonna Será que vai ser assim mesmo, cara? Tão escuro assim? About, uh, rain gate. <laughs> rain gate. I do agree. I think it's a, it's um, it can be tuned down a little bit. Um, it cara, does feel like intentionally like it is cabelo tudo molhado. intentionally obfuscating the environment. Um, it kind of adds to that that tension, like you can't see what you're shooting. I do agree, though. It's it's a bit much. Um, and you know what would be great, Marcus, if there's like a, a rain slider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. I just want a nice little downpour as we see. Uh, Cara, que legal. I love the lighting in this game. You know, like it just the... Uh, the, the bloom on the, uh, the the flashlight and just how dark mm. everything is like it just makes um especially like interiors like this if they lift Ashley up to do her uh, do her thing get Leon up there but yeah it just makes the interiors creepier like that like Susto, the first time I'll maybe jump because you just see the glowing uma eyes the ali, yeah. like oh my god like what is that there there I will say there there were a couple times when I was playing the demo where I was kind of in a very dark environment and Leon wasn't pulling up his flashlight. Which is kind of frustrating, so I'm just kind of like clambering around in the dark. It was mostly like outdoor. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There he Here's is. the dog. Look at that que thing. Top, like, mano. Like scorpion tail. No, I'm looking que at it again. Top, velho. So, yeah, uh, Capcom also pointed out for those wondering that this dog is not the dog that Leon can rescue in the original game, because, you know, in this game, he's presumably dead. Uh, so, you know, at the time, we kind of were like, oh, maybe this is the dog, but they were very clear to point out like nope different dog and you're like okay <laughs> but yeah that uh they that also wouldn't pretty hard they also wouldn't definitively Nossa, answer mano, tá muito bonito isso velho a lá finaliza uh, mano ai que da hora in, uh, in terms of the one that's 
dead at the beginning of the game. They're like, maybe it's not the same. O guy. vento, like, fog, a iluminação. Okay. <laughs> so you see a blue medallion up there. Oh the yeah. Takes yeah. it out. So you see, it's one of five. So I asked Capcom about that because in the original game it was kind of like 15 in the same area, and they said that um, that side quest reappears in Cara. parts of the map. So you're going to be shooting. Ih, olha o bravo aí. Outside of just like the village area, um, and they just sort of like divide them into like batches of five. Cara, isso localizado em português vai ser lindo, mano. Pô, que legal, mano. Cara, ele tá muito da hora. Uh, and due to the cuts, um, there is a lot of that village before the the bridge that we ran over that you can, mm -hmm. you know, fight through and explore. Like there's a lot that they didn't show in this footage. Um, it's where at least during our playthrough, the brute Capcom, cadê a nossa demo, cara? Né, galera? Cadê a demo? In that area just before the, the bridge that we crossed. But, uh, yeah, because in the footage we've put out of this, you, you, people have seen the cow uh, guy shows up appears in this fight. Here. But you yeah. actually fight him uh, well before this. So, yeah, so when he shows like up in the gonna... fight... Nossa, okay. velho, está... Oh, Barry! Yeah, he's definitely a, a recurring enemy, but when he shows up in the fight, you've already had to fight him before, and so I feel like... It's extra tense because it's like, oh my god, I gotta fight oh, this Barry guy. Oh, Perry will help you a lot, man. Yes. So. I saw some people speculating that he might be a single, persistent enemy that follows you. I, I'm no. pretty sure that is not the case. Yeah, I think he's no, just another I, I have, enemy type. I have killed him several times. Nossa, mano. Hype, hype, hype. He's yeah. a new enemy type. <laughs> man, so this fight was uh, pretty wild as it is in the original, but even more so here. And there he is, Mr. Bullman. It's been a lot of like back and forth. Like, is he a cow? Is he a bull? But I was like, he's got a horn there. That'd be a bull thing. <laughs> well, a bull is just a cow. It's a male cow. I mean, yeah, they're the same thing. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> but, you know, like bulls have horns. Okay. And, you know. That's fair. That's fair. Caraca. Listen, he's, he's got a single horn there, it looks like, as Leon just gets pummeled. Ah, mano, mostrasse a luta, velho. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of, uh, you know, the action. Gameplay we've got to show off. This is a look at putting gems inside of um, treasures to increase their value. Of course, if you different combinations of gems net you different uh, bonuses. Uh, there are now customized cases that have different bonuses. Nossa, eu tô surtando, galera. Como isso tá bonito, velho. Increased drop rate for L resources. Um, yeah. And you, you can you can pick up charms as well, a little chicken charm. The charms and the cases, they they give you li little passive bonuses. Yeah. And you can uh, do that stuff in the typewriter menu, as you saw. So you, you can't do that all the time, just when you uh, reach those uh, saves point. To keep up with all of our coverage, ah, bookmark no, no, slash Resident Evil no. 4 and subscribe Bom, acabou, to acabou. Galera, cara... Eu gostei muito do que eu vi aqui, de verdade, gostei muito, os personagens estão muito bonitos, desde os o Leon né, e a Ashley, que são os personagens principais, até os coadjuvantes, os inimigos estão muito loucos, o vendedor tá da hora pra caramba, eu só achei um pouco estranho, é, duas coisas, pra falar bem a real, a chuva em si, tipo, o, o, os a chuva, tá ligado? Eu achei ela um pouco... Sei lá, é costume, né? A gente vai acostumar jogando, mas eu achei um pouco estranho. Mas o efeito dela pingando nos personagens tá demais. Achei animal. E eu achei muito escuro, cara. Agora eu, já, eu não sei se é, é, essa gravação que fizeram, né? Estavam com o contraste muito alto. Ou se vai ser desse jeito mesmo, né? Não sei. Porque, olha isso aí. Tá muito escuro. Mas não sei, né? Cara, gostei muito, gostei demais o combate, o lance de você bater no cara, poder correr lá e finalizar. Quando eles sequestram a Ashley, dá pra você correr lá e finalizar. <coughs> Eu gostei muito desse lance da finalização. Dá pra fazer isso em combate, né? A gente viu ali que dá pra fazer isso em combate, você detona, você bate nos caras, os caras caem. 
Aí, mano, nossa, mano, olha... E, e, essa névoa no chão, achei, achei animal. Cadê a treta, mano? Aqui, ó lá, ó. Pum! Foi lá, finalizou. Tem vários tipos de chute agora. Não é só aquele chute que ele dava, assim, no original. Agora ele dá um chutão pra frente também. Ele dá, né, o chute tra tradicional que a gente tá acostumado. E, obviamente, o inimigo vai pra trás. Olha lá, ó. Olha lá, viu? Cara, isso é muito legal. Eu acho que depois disso que ele fez, ele poderia chegar ainda lá e finalizar o, o boneco, tá ligado? Atirou na perna, o boneco stunou, vai lá, chuta, e eu acho que ainda depois finaliza. Mano, tá muito bonito. O saldo é positivo, o saldo final é positivo. E eu quero saber de vocês o que vocês acharam desse trecho. Tá legal os personagens? Tá legal o gameplay? A interação? A... O gráfico? Enfim, mano, comentem tudo que eu quero saber. Eu só posso afirmar pra vocês que é hype, hype, hype pro, pro mês que vem. Com certeza a gente vai estar tá trazendo. Não sei se vamos receber da Capcom, provavelmente não, mas a gente vai comprar o game, vamos jogar. O que importa é jogar, tá ligado? Vamos trazer e vamos jogar junto. Beijo no coração, sucesso, até a próxima. Tchau, tchau.